excited because we are headed out to fish. I have Jordan with me and we are headed to, right now, we think the Biloxi Marsh. We're gonna launch at Fort Pike like we usually do. It is a beautiful day. We haven't had a day like this in a really long time. Hopefully the wind just stays down, uh, but there's not a cloud in the sky and it's supposed to warm up today. So we're really excited. So we're gonna do a little something different today. Uh, I'm gonna do a little challenge video for you guys where I'm going to attempt to catch, clean, and cook on the boat. So hopefully if everything works out, we'll be able to have a little lunch out there in the marsh. Um, if you guys are from Slidell, you know that the Biloxi Marsh uh, is quite a run. Um, it takes us usually about 35 minutes to get there. So we're trying to stay out there all day if possible. So plan is just to fish. Uh, I'm sorry if you can hear that. That's actually my little uh, portable girl back there. Uh, the plan is to fish, catch something, cook it, eat lunch, and then just keep fishing all day. Uh, the fishing's been really tough, um, so I'm not expecting to catch a limit by any means. Um, and it's just so nice out. I'm just, we're really excited just to be on the water. And it's Super Bowl Sunday, so we definitely need to get back before the game starts. But it is currently eight o'clock in the morning, so we have a lot of time. Stay tuned. All right, guys, we just launched, we're heading out. It is literally the perfect day. It's actually pretty warm. I'm just wearing this really uh, thick jacket because we do have a, a little bit of a ride, but we're only throwing artificials today. We had considered getting shrimp, but usually during the winter, um, we don't need shrimp. So hopefully we'll catch some fish. Uh, I'm really not picky as to what fish um, we want to catch. The place we're going, the Biloxi Marsh, I mean, there's the opportunity, we have the opportunity to catch flounder, redfish, trout, every, basically every species, bass. So we're just gonna take what we can get. That's a redfish, a little red drum. Oh, Hey, I'll take it. I was just complaining about this paddle tail. Ooh, sorry, having not any having any enough action. action. Yeah. All right. He's definitely short, but that's a good sign. First fish of the day. Nice, pretty blue tail on him. Thanks, buddy. You want to put it? Back? Back. <laughs> Throw his ass on the grill. Jump out of the water. Shit, that paddle tail is working. Yeah. Alright, guys. A little bass. Finally found some clean water. It's moving, and we've seen a ton of bait back here, which is awesome. Just need a keeper. I know one of those bait. Uh... In my videos in the past, you know I like don't like eating trout, but hey, I'll take it. <laughs> Bass. Got a red fish on here, finally. Nice. Perfect griller there. All right, let's just see if we can get him on the boat. Oh, nice fish. That is perfect. Oh, look at that hook. It's barely, yeah, barely in gone. there. Holy cow. All right, they have to be. 
16 to 27. There are, there are, there are. Ooh, perfect. Right. We have a keeper redfish, so now we have options as to what we want for lunch, which is really exciting because I was really dreading the thought of having to eat trout. Oh, that's a fish. Do you want to get the fish grips? You might have to just... Damn. I'll get him close enough. I'll get him close enough and you can put the fish grips in his mouth. So that's a good one. He's growing there. Oh, fun. that's a nice one, yeah. He's not ready. Huh. No, I don't. I think he's. Oh, oh that's so a big ready. one. Oh, jeez. Nice. Oh. Try and get. All right, we're gonna try and do this while while filming. Oh my gosh! All right, let's see him. Got him. Yes. That was. Yeah. That's a nice one. Yes! So this is number eight. He looks like a perfect box fish. This is the measure. He is 17. It's perfect. All right, y'all. So one of our sides today is going to be asparagus, and I just really would like to see if we can get a redfish to bite this because they have been so aggressive, and it's been like a non-stop kind of. Oh, I don't know. It's going to break. Yeah, it is. I'm gonna have to be creative with it. So, we're gonna see if they are this aggressive. Oh my god. 
No That's way. She just caught one, a bass oh, on a asparagus. Oh, that's still awesome. He was hungry. Wow. Alright guys, we just caught I think like three or four limits of redfish. They were on fire. It was amazing. So we're gonna eat lunch now. It's kind of a late lunch because we like just fish for fun a little bit after we caught our limits. So got my gloves on. I don't want to get all fishy. Just do him. Alright, let's fillet him. apologize in advance for like how sketchy this is gonna look I didn't even think of the filleting process how I was gonna do it on the boat so I'm just gonna do it on this cooler We are having a grilled asparagus, um, some mac and cheese that I did not make myself, and some red fish on the half shell. So first thing we're going to do was we're already heating up our little grill down here. We had to put it down here because it's super windy so it's uh, very difficult for us to actually get a um, nice consistent flame. So what we're going to do now is just season our red fish. Got some lemon. Pour all over this. I actually turned this lure lock box and this uh, deep box into like a little camping uh, spices to go container. Um, <laughs> so I'm really excited about it. If you guys can't tell, so I have a couple things in here that I want to put on the redfish. I have um, fresh thyme. I just squeezed lemon on there. I have all these different spices. What do we want to do? I think we want to do some pop of pearls for sure. And then we want to catch and get some of this fresh thyme. 
Oh yeah. Don't want it to fly away. I'm gonna put some of this on the redfish. So, we got our tray, got our asparagus, and have our fish. So we wanna put a little something on the asparagus. So I'm literally just gonna put a little bit of olive oil. Okay. <laughs> Mix them around. We're just gonna hit them with a little bit of salt and pepper. I usually do Tony Saturies, but we've already done Tony Saturies on the fish, and I don't wanna like, or I'm sorry, not Tony Saturies, um, Papa Earl's. <laughs> what the heck, just a little bit. All right. Now we're just gonna wait for the um, water to boil, so we wanna make our mac and cheese first. Just leave uh, the mac and cheese kind of cooling Fish. These fillets are pretty thin, and the red fish, we, this redfish was like right at 16, so it should cook like fairly, fairly quickly. This wind is getting a little chilly, not gonna lie. Okay, so I finally got the water to boil. We got our macaroni cooked all the way. Right now, just trying to cook. Oh my gosh, y'all. It smells so good. <laughs> It's been on there for like seven minutes. Looks and smells amazing. I still can't believe we have the opportunity to eat out here. <laughs> you guys wanna take a look? This redfish is super tender. So ready. Oh my goodness. Literally just falling off that skin. And then the asparagus looks awesome. It seriously does not get fresher than that. <laughs> well, thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. I am gonna finish this video now because I am starving and this is so well deserved. Um, thank you for watching. If you have any other ideas or any other videos that you want me to try, let me know. I love doing this and I know you guys love the catch, clean and cook video. So I'm gonna keep, uh, I'm gonna try to keep them coming for you. And yeah, until next time.